that was a good idea until it wasn't. Hi, welcome back to AZ Little Shed Shop. Today we are going to be upgrading my Axminster to trade AT406 SS scroll saw. This is my baby, I love it a bit. I've had it a while, and this, other than the bigger brother of this, or big sister, whatever you want to call it, the bigger version, this is the best scroll saw money can buy. I don't care what anyone says, that's the God's honest truth. Okay, it's my opinion, but you know. Anyway, today we're going to be upgrading this. So I've been working on a project. Um, you will see it soon if you, you know, click for notifications and uh, and you'll see it soon. I did an experiment trying to work out what can stick metal to wood. It's a good video. There'll be a link to it at the end or just you know, go and have a look through the channel because I've got my anniversary um, coming up. Uh, say coming up. It was coming up. Now missed it, but it doesn't matter. It's okay. We've been so busy. Mrs. Shed Shop has let me off. Thank God for that. So I need to upgrade the table on my scroll saw so I can actually get this done. So I bonded metal to wood. I haven't actually checked to make sure it's come out all right yet, but I'm hoping it has. As far as the plan goes, I've bonded metal to wood. I haven't done it yet. I have done it. I just haven't checked it. And I need to make a much smaller clearance hole than this to be able to do it. Now it could go zero clearance with just a piece of ply, slap it on there and just cut into it. Job done. I've done it before. The problem is, is you get build up of sawdust. The way I'm going to do it is have this wonderful thing, a magnetic whiteboard. I actually bought it ages ago because I've been meaning to do this for some time. I just haven't needed to, but now, now I need to. So it's a magnetic whiteboard to get stuck onto this and I'm going to cut the holes and probably mess that up and hopefully it will work out right. Let's go. Let's give it a little clean. I bought this a while back. I just haven't got around to doing this. A magnetic whiteboard because this is steel and all it requires is a small hole wherever you want it so I'll take the blade out cool rums that's very tight with the is it magnetic suction I think I've heard someone call it that before. Magnetic suction where it's, you know, it's not, but you know what I mean. Might require a bit of flattening. See, mine's folded at the back where it's been rolled for a while. But all you do, pop that on there. Actually, pop it on there upside bloody down. That makes more sense, doesn't it? I need a marker. Oh, you know what I might do is sitting down. So with this, upside down here, obviously this isn't magnetized to, I was about to say something really weird then, but this isn't magnetized to this. So I'm gonna take said marker and i'm gonna mark this get it where you want it i'm not gonna have it right to the very edge because well i don't need it right to the very edge so i've got this in place where i think i want it I'm gonna slightly overhang either side i could cut that if i wanted to but i'm not going to mark that hole now you can with mine because it's got all the extra holes mark them too if you want but i cannot see what i'm doing still the dust will go through don't you get the idea? Now let's see if I've actually got them all. Hey! <laughs> yeah, actually looks quite cool. There! Like that. So with that done, all we need to do now is to work out how big we actually want our hole. Blades that we use as scroll sawers are all different sizes. The blade I'll probably use is a very th fine blade. Precision ground tooth blade probably from Pegasus. The size hole that actually needs is, well it's ridiculous. It would probably, yeah, fit through one of these dust evacuation holes. So I might actually do that. And the way I'll do it is I'll drill it. Will I drill it? Is that a good idea or should I punch it? Let's find out. I'm going to go check out what size my punches are because I actually have no idea how I'm going to do this. Master Shed Shop just turned around and pointed out that I was going to look for the punch and, and the drill. I mean, come on, that's a bit excessive. It's a bleeding magnet. Be stupid, wouldn't it? And he pointed out that I've got one of these. The old, uh, oh, what are these called? Well, it's a hole punch, isn't it? Yeah, it's exactly what it is. So I was looking for a bang punch. He pointed out that actually, why would I use that when I can't freaking use this? And I totally forgot I had that. So these are awesome. Obviously you have you know, your different sizes. Now I want the smallest hole possible. So I'm gonna go small. I don't know if this is gonna actually go through this, but 
<sighs> I kind of hope it will. Bugger. I've seen my problem already. Will it, will it, will it, will it, will it, will it, will it. Frickin' won't it. Well, that's not gonna work. That was a good idea. Until it wasn't. Bollocks! That's looking pretty cool. There we go. It's actually quite an effective little upgrade, really. I mean, you call it an upgrade, or you can just call it an addition, or just a slight adaptation. So that's that, that's now all nicely cut out. And I've also got my holes in it, so if I do uh, attach my dust extraction, that will pull that through. I'll be able to pull that through these holes and take it through. And with a smaller central hole, hopefully that will mean I'll actually be able to cut out uh, shit, no, uh, the pieces a lot easier. It's just a case of now getting that into place. Probably could be a bit easier. So I've only raised this half a mil off of this. So I'm not actually going to lose anything with a, my cutting ability. And the fact that these holes are now clear to go all the way through. So now what I've got to do is remember which way around this bloody blade goes and put it in. Okay, some of these holes aren't exactly perfect, but it doesn't matter. It's all just still going to get through. It's not going to build up underneath. Still got my blower on top to get rid of it from the top. Excellent. Now I can get going on some more intricate things when I have added metal to the back of it, which yeah, I know it seems a bit daft, but it should look effective once done. Don't forget to tune in for that video. Give it a double check. Total clearance. There's also another added bonus to having a dry white board. Most of the time they come with dry white pens. Get your pen and write in here and go, ah, oh, right, what have I got to do? Things to do. And you can write a list. You can write your sizes if you need to. And then when you're done, it's gone. A whole load of advantages to having a dry whiteboard as your scroll saw tabletop. Doodle away. Thank you for watching this little shed shop. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notifications. And we'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching.